Have you ever watched Pacific Rim, seen Gypsy Danger stomp through a city, and thought to yourself, I want one. Yeah, me too. But then the adult in you kicks in, right? The one that groans when you see the price of lumber at the hardware store. And you start to wonder, what would it actually cost to build a 2,500 ton, kaiju punching, rocket powered behemoth? Forget a new car or a house, we're talking about the single most complex, outrageously expensive machine humanity could ever conceive. So today, we're canceling the apocalypse and calculating the bill. We're going to break down piece by giant city block sized piece, the real world cost of building a Jaeger. Grab your calculators and get ready for some serious sticker shock. All right, first things first, the body. Let's use the iconic Gypsy Danger as our model. According to the official specs, Gypsy stands 260 feet tall. That's just shy of the Statue of Liberty and weighs in at a light 1,980 tons. Now in the movie, they say it's a solid iron hull. Let's be real, that's not gonna cut it against a category five kaiju. Iron rusts, it's brittle, and it's just not strong enough. We need to upgrade to 21st century materials. Let's start with a base of high strength military grade steel, the kind you use on battleships. As of mid 2025, good structural steel runs about $900 per ton. 1,980 tons times $900 per ton, $1,782,000. A little over one and a half million dollars. That's it? That's less than a fancy New York apartment. No way. To withstand the pressure of the deep ocean and the crushing force of a kaiju, we need a cocktail of high-tech alloys. Let's say the internal skeleton, the bones, are made of titanium. It's incredibly strong and relatively lightweight. The current price for titanium alloy is about $8,000 per ton. Let's dedicate 500 tons of our weight to a titanium endoskeleton. Titanium, 500 tons times $8,000 per ton, $400 million. Okay, now we're talking. $400 million for the bones, but the armor needs to be even tougher. We need something to absorb massive impacts. That means layers of carbon fiber composites and maybe some tungsten for the high impact zones, like the fists. Carbon fiber is tricky to price, but you're looking at around $20,000 per ton. And tungsten, a dense hard metal perfect for punching monsters, a cool $35,000 per ton. Let's say we use 800 tons of carbon composites and 100 tons of tungsten for those famous brass knuckles. Just for the raw materials of the chassis and armor, we're already closing in on half a billion dollars. And we haven't even made it move yet. You don't plug a Jaeger into a wall socket. The, mo the movie says Gypsy Danger is powered by a nuclear reactor. But not just any reactor. This thing has to power a walking skyscraper. Our best real-world comparison is the reactor on a modern aircraft carrier, like the USS Gerald R. Ford. That ship has two A1B nuclear reactors that can power a small city. The cost of just one of these reactors is estimated to be well over $1.5 billion. And a Jaeger needs a compact, shielded version. Let's look at a submarine reactor. India's first nuclear sub, the INS Arihant, cost a reported $2.9 billion with the reactor being a huge chunk of that. Given the custom design and extreme shielding required to protect the pilots, we can safely budget $2 billion for our Jaeger's part. And here's a fun, nerdy fact. They call it an analog system in the movie because digital systems would get fried by the EMP blast from a kaiju. A nuclear reactor is beautifully, terrifyingly analog. This is where things get really expensive and really sci-fi. The con pod. It's the cockpit, the life support, the sensory input, and the neural interface all in one. Let's start with the basics. A modern military level D flight simulator, which is basically a super realistic cockpit on the ground, can cost up to $20 million. A Jaeger's con pod is infinitely more complex. Now consider the avionics. The helmet for a single F-35 pilot costs $400,000. The entire electronic suite of one F-35 fighter jet 
is in the tens of millions. For the two-person holographic sensory feedback system of the ConPod, we have to think bigger. We're talking about bleeding edge robotics, life support systems capable of handling extreme G-forces, and holographic displays that don't even exist yet. A conservative estimate for the hardware alone would be around $500 million. But the real cost is the drift, the neural interface, the AI that translates two pilots' thoughts into fluid motion. How do you price something that's pure science fiction? Well, we can look at the cost of developing the world's most powerful AI systems. Companies spend billions on R&D. The software and AI to run a Jaeger to create the drift would be one of the most complex software projects in history. You're not just programming movements, you're creating a bridge between two human minds and a machine. Let's peg the cost of the AI and the neural interface system at a cool $10 billion. It's not just code, it's creating a new form of consciousness. So we have a body, a heart, and a brain. But how does it move? The movie mentions hydraulics and actuators, but normal hydraulics are way too slow. To get the fast, powerful punches and dynamic movements, we need something more. We're talking about massive, high-torque, custom-built servo motors and something akin to artificial muscles. Perhaps electroactive polymers or carbon nanotube bundles. This technology is still in its infancy today. There's no catalog price for there's no catalog price for giant robot muscle. So let's use a real-world benchmark. On complex machines like aircraft carriers or advanced robotics, the intricate moving parts, the actuators, the elevators, the robotic arms, can often be as expensive as the raw structure itself. Given the sheer scale and revolutionary technology required to make 1,980 tons move with agility, it's reasonable to assume the muscle system would cost at least as much as our raw materials. So let's add another $500 million to the pile. Okay, our Jaeger is sitting at around $13.5 billion. That's about the cost of a modern aircraft carrier. And that's just for the parts. This is the number you see on the sticker. But everyone knows the sticker price isn't the real price. The real cost is in putting it all together. The research and development. The International Space Station cost $150 billion to build and assemble in orbit. The F-35 fighter jet program, just developing the plane and its systems, is projected to have a lifetime cost of over $1.5 trillion. That's trillion with a T. Building the world's first Jaeger isn't an assembly line job. It's a decade-long project involving hundreds of thousands of the world's best scientists, engineers, and builders. You have to invent entirely new fields of science. You have to build facilities big enough to house a 26-story tall robot. The logistics are mind-blowing. The R&D cost would dwarf the manufacturing cost. We're talking about a project on the scale of the Apollo program, but exponentially more complex. A conservative estimate for the R&D, design, and construction of the very first Jaeger would likely be around $500 billion. So, let's add it all up. Raw materials, $421 million. Nuclear power core, $2 billion. ConPod AI and neural interface, $10.5 billion. Muscle and actuators, $500 million. R&D and assembly, $500 billion. Which brings the grand, terrifying total for one Jaeger to 513 billion, 421 billion, 282 thousand dollars. Over half a trillion dollars. For that price, you could buy the entire NFL, NBA, and every single Major League Baseball team, and still have enough left over to buy a fleet of 25 aircraft carriers. So, while we all might want to pilot a Jaeger, it's probably cheaper to just buy a movie ticket. The cost of a Jaeger isn't just money, it's the combined economic and intellectual might of an entire planet, united against a common foe. And honestly, that's the whole point. What would you name your half a trillion dollar Jaeger? Let me know in the comments below. And if you had fun geeking out with us, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss our next video. 